It's Joe Gas here. Today I'm going to tell you guys how to make shattered text in After Effects. So, what it's going to look like, let me show you. Let me open up this test movie I have for you, and this is just already a rendered copy of what we're going to be making today. I apologize for that. It's a big file, so you know. Alright, now let's play it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Shattered text in After Effects right there. Very nice. It looks really cool rewinded in QuickTime X. But anyway, so yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Alright, so you want to go on After Effects. New composition. Make the settings to your liking. I'm going to make the, dur the duration about 20 seconds, just so I could get to a certain amount of seconds a little faster. All right, now what I'm going to want to do is layer new solid. And I'm going to name this background. You don't have to do this now. If you're already working on a project and just want to know how to do a shattered text effect, don't worry about what I'm doing now. I'm just making this look pretty nice, okay? So, just skip to about however minutes this is done. I know that was really nice and descriptive right there, but whatever. All right. All right, that's my background. So now I'm going to actually make new text. I'm just going to put Joe Gas subscribe. I like to make the top gray. This is just what I'm doing. You don't have to do this. All right. Uh, you know, move it around to wherever you want to move it to. I'm going to put it right here. Alright, now this is important. You're going to want to select your pan behind tool. Whatever direction you want your text to shatter, you have to move this. If you want your text to shatter to the right, you move the pan behind to the left. If you want to shatter it to the left, you move it to the right, vice versa for any direction. I want mine shattering to the right, so I'm going to move the pan behind to the right. Alright? Now, you're going to want to go on your um, effects and presets and type in pixel. You should get an effect called pixel poly and drag it in. If you don't have the CC plugins, I'll put a link in the description. And there you go, guys. That's shattered text. What you can do now is, you know, change the direction. I'm actually very sorry. You don't have to do the pan behind. This is the direction right here. So now it'll shatter down since so I have it up there. If I have it up here, it's gonna want to. Sh it's gonna shatter directly down. Have it up down. It's gonna shatter directly up and fall back down. That's how awesome. It's because there's gravity. If we took the gravity, made it zero. Watch this. It's just gonna sort of go up because there's no gravity. All right. So it's just very nice features you could do with um. Pixel Poly. I'm just going to show you an example here. Say you don't know how to do this and you don't want it to shatter right away. You want it to shatter at a certain amount of seconds. Put it at the uh, uh, second you want it to shatter. Then make every single force, gravity, and spinning to zero and keyframe them all. Move to about four frames and make the force and uh, click on the layer, press U. Make the force now 100 about gravity. I'm going to do 1.0. Spinning at least 1. So, you know, nothing changed. And now you have the whole time is going to stay still. And when it reaches 3 seconds, bam, it shatters. All right? So, yeah. Obviously, I could go back and change the direction I want it to shatter again. If I want it over here, it's going to shadow to the right. It's going to shatter to the right. So, yeah, obviously, if I went over here, click on the gravity preset, made the gravity uh, zero when it gets to here still, watch this. It's just going to go to the right directly. So, yeah, guys, well, thanks for watching. And if you wanted to add a motion blur to this, all you'd simply do is click on this layer, go to Layer, Precompose. I'm just going to name it Shatter. 
Once you pre-compose the layer, you could type in force, and you should get an option called force motion blur. Drag that to the pre-composed text layer. Now, if you look at it, it's actually going to make the shadows blurred. So it's really nice. It gives it a way more realistic feel. And that's what I actually did on the new intro for Joe Gas. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And subscribe for more tutorials because I'm definitely going to do more After Effects tutorials in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.